Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Great Greed. Last time, we made our way through Pipe Valley slash Mountain slash Plateau to Ralph Nader's, or Vader's, home. Anyway, we have some new equipment here, the Tin Armor, so let's go ahead and purchase that. Um, I think that that's the only new thing that we have here, I'm pretty sure. Let me just uh, sell some things. Yeah, we have... A lot of junk here. You can only sell one thing at a time, though, and then it kicks you out of the menu. It's kind of um, archaic like that, but it should be fine. Let's go into magic. Yeah, plenty of magic that I need to sell as well. Uh, anything here? Okay, I'm good. And that's, yeah, that's it. I have, okay, yeah, good. Okay, I have everything else. I just wanted to double check there. No need to go to the inn. But let's go to the magic shop and uh, see what they have here. Hey there. Ooh, they have heal too. Sweet. Yeah, we definitely need um, that upgrade. But remember, that healing magic can only go on the bottom, so it has to replace your heal one. If you want to, you can hold on to the heal one magic um, and use it outside of battle, though, to continually heal you. It does use two MP, though. Whereas heal two, let's see, uses four MP. Um, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, it says MP four. That tells you how much MP the uh, spell uses. Bolt two uses nine MP. So yeah. Anyway, let's get out of here. That's all I wanted to do there. Some upgrades. That'll that'll come in so handy. Hot hot village, down the mountain to the south, then to the southeast. Okay. Hey there. Go down to the south, and then towards the south, you'll find Nutmeg Village. So it looks like everything is to the south. Actually, she's a lying bitch. Um, it's actually to the south, and then to the west to find Nutmeg Village. I don't know why she doesn't tell you where it is, but anyway, let's go get our mind read by... Professor X, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it is about Biohaz. Oh, power water from the springs at Crater Lake. First go to Nutmeg Village, then go to Crater Lake. Oh! Ooh! Okay. Oh, he's a fatal enemy. I don't want to fight him, though. I don't want to die. Oh, well, thanks. That's all he has to say. So, let's go to Nutmeg Village, according to Truffle. Even though... Okay, number one, why is this door not centered? Like, why is it not in the middle of this carpet? It's just odd to me to have it over there to the side, and then this door isn't centered either. It just, I don't know, it just bothers me. It bothers my OCD. So, the translation's a bit wonky here. If you talk to this guard... You'll go down to the north part of the mountain, where we came from. We do not want to do that. If you talk to this guard, then you'll exit the southern part of the mountain. And warp, not climb down, oddly enough. Um, no! Hell no, I don't want to go through that again. So, if you go south, you'll get to Hot Hot Village, but I don't want to do that. Oh, Pig Ninja! Yikes! Whoa! Look at how much damage he did to me! Holy crap! Yeah, thank God I bought that, um, that new armor, because, man, these guys are tough. Huh. Ooh, what's this? This must be Nutmeg Village. Whoa, what in the world? What's going on? Uh-oh, yikes. Oh, no, poisonous fog. Wow. Who knew they had, like, a blaring siren system? Who knew their technology was this advanced? Wow. Oh no, I thought that Crater Lake was the purest water in the world. How is toxins coming from there? Oh, it's been polluted. By none other than Bio has, I'm sure. Great. Yeah, what happened to that water? Lovely. I mean, once you throw hazardous waste into a lake, you really can't clean it up. You're just kind of screwed. 
Like, there really is no way to bring it back to normal. Oh, okay, I guess in this world there is a way. A neutralizing agent. You know, the, um... Do you guys remember the Exxon Mobil oil spill back in 1989? I remember that when I was little. I was seven years old whenever that happened, and I'm watching that on the news. But that oil, it's still there. And that was back in 89. I mean, if you go to that bay where it all happened, where the spill happened, and you just lift up a rock, there's just oil all over the place, and the sand on the beaches and everything, still in the water. It's horrible. So there really is no way to clean this crap up. I mean, once you pollute the water, it's just done. Okay, we have to go around to other villages and gather information. Wait, you're just gonna stay here? Are you leaving me? You bitch! What the hell? Not that you really did anything in battle anyway, but okay. We need to go- wait, what are you talking about? We need to go 100 meters in 10 seconds, then we're racing all of a sudden? I guess it's outrunning that poisonous fog or... Whatever. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, and who are you? Oh, in Hot Hot Village, they're having an ultra hot of high speed. Okay. Well, aren't you just random? What the hell? You just randomly walk over to me, tell me this, and then you leave? And we have to break a hundred meter dash, too. Anyway, down here they sell the best spell in the game. The Mighty Power spell, which does exactly what you think it does, it increases your attack power. So definitely go ahead and equip that, and we'll stick it up there. And I guess I'll sell that other spell that I had. What did I have? Silence or something? Oh, I have to keep it? Seriously? I can't get rid of it? What the hell? I guess that push spell I have to keep too. Just clogging up my inventory. Oh well. Oh, there's an inn. Don't need anything there. Let's keep on looking around this town. Not many people out. Oh, hey. Hey there. Oh. Whoa! Yikes! Oh no! More toxic fog! Can I go inside of this house? Oh, well, so do I. This village kind of sucks. Eh. Oh well. Whoa! Yikes! So now if you look, my HP is 65. Um, I'll go ahead and heal myself. So let's see, we're at 115 HP. So we can just wander around out here if you want to. If you touch the toxic fog, yeah, it'll hurt you again down to 57. So let's get back inside here before something tragic happens. Um, weren't you listening? There was toxins thrown into the lake. If you try to leave now, yeah, the fog will clear up. Perfect. And then everybody will run back outside to their predetermined locations. Okay, so we've done that. We've talked. So let's talk to you guys. Oh, I guess this is some sort of farming community. Yeah, why don't you guys move? Go to Hot Hot Village or something. Apparently, it's around here too. And uh, nothing in here. Ooh, over here we have some new weapons, though. A lot of new weapons and armor. So yeah, really happy about this. We get the katana. And uh, let's see. I know I don't want to sell. But I want to... No, 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 I don't want to sell. Uh, let's see here. I also want to buy the... I already have that. Uh, the copper shield. And the bronze helmet. Perfect. Let's go ahead and equip all that kind of good stuff as well. I know, I have issues with menus. I really do. I really shouldn't at this point in my life have such issues with equipment menus and menu screens in general. But I always seem to go to the wrong thing or um, hit the wrong button or sell the wrong thing. Like, it just drives me nuts. Okay, so we got that taken care of. And the next thing that I want to do is definitely heal myself um, because I don't want that poisonous fog hitting me again. That would be really, really bad. So we're all healed up, we're all equipped it, and let's see what happens. Uh-oh, a Leminator, yikes. Yeah, this guy, um, he likes to dodge and guard and stuff like that, so we could cast a bolt two on him, dealing some nice damage there. Um, because otherwise, like, it just takes forever to fight this guy, so yeah, I'm gonna go the, the bolt route. Even though, doing that, it's still just 
I, I, I don't like this enemy. He takes way too long. But anyway, we gained a level, and I'm completely restored. Oh, what's over here? Oh, the Crater Lake. Well, let's go and, uh, uh-oh. Really? Seriously? I just got in here. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's what that guy was talking about. We need to make that 100 meter dash in 10 seconds in order to make it to Crater Lake. However, um, nobody can run fast enough, but Hot Hot Village is apparently having some sort of hot hot race or something going super hot hot. I don't know. Uh-oh. Yikes. Man, enemies shouldn't be allowed to dodge. All it does is just drag out these battles even longer. And honestly, the battles aren't that long, but it would just be nice to not have to deal with um, them dodging or anything. Wow, I one shot at that bitch. Oh, wow, did we gain a level or something? What is going on here? Doinks? Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, okay, so that's how you get so fast. Oh, really? Really? Seriously? So we're stuck here? Okay, so what we have to do is just try to talk to these people. Oh, okay, this is the actual person that you need to talk to. If you don't talk to this girl, you can't move on, so make sure that you talk to her. Oh, okay, so the ultra hot flower which blooms deep down in the forest. But you can only enter the forest with this password. Viva Mega Hot. Woohoo! Okay, so I guess this is the bridge to Spaghetti Nation, although to me it looks like a dock, you know, that you would take a ship to Spaghetti, but whatever. Okay. All of these shops have nobody in them. They are closed. So, don't worry about it. Um, we'll come back here later in order to utilize those shops. Let's just move on. Yikes, here we have Slimy! He was dealing no damage to me. That's exactly what I like to see. And let's head inside this forest here. Now that we have our password, we can make it in. Maybe a bird will help me. Um, okay. Yikes! Oh, this guy can put you to sleep. That's no good. Looks like he has like a skull face or something. He just looks really creepy. I don't know, just something about him. Whoa! Yikes! The tree brothers? Oh no! They're blocking my way! Ugh. I guess this is what he meant by birds helping me. What a creepy ass candy man! Look at this guy! It's more like an ice cream man, though. Like, aren't those ice cream cones in his hands? Kind of looks like it to me. Oh, well. Let's keep on going. Ooh, treasure! Oh, we get the Flash. Okay. If you're wondering, Flash is completely useless. It inflicts the blind status on your enemies. Um, I'm gonna try to take the most direct route through here without getting blocked by the mighty Tree Brothers and just getting all the treasure that I possibly can. Here we get a foil sword, but you should already have one. If you made it all this way without one, I feel bad for you. Here we have a little birdie! Oh, Whoa! Oh. Yikes! Yeah, basically you come here, you bother the birds, and then the mother bird will come and fly you away to a different part of the forest. There we get a stamp. The stamp is 100% completely worthless. Um, there are a surprising amount of worthless items in this game. Um, they pretty much just serve just to clog up your inventory, but right now inventory space isn't that big of a deal. Inventory space will become much, much more of an issue later as the game progresses. Basically, right now, all you can do is use it to sell for um, 75 gold. Okay, so the third path is the only path that you can go up that will not get you blocked by the Tree Brothers. So do that, grab that Med 3, which is really nice. And let's continue on our way, harming young birds. I'm not gonna eat it! Like, I'm just going to pet it. It's just a cute little bird. If you touch this bird, it'll bring you back to where you were. Don't do that. Um, that would be pretty 
bad. Anyway, let's continue on. Ooh, get regain too. Remember that the regain items restore MP. They are at a premium. So you want to hold on to as many of those as you possibly can. Ignore that baby bird, go over here, and get the Repel magic, which does exactly what you think it does by reducing the rate of encounters. I am a huge fan of games that have spells that just tell you what they do, like the old Dragon Warrior games, where the spells would just tell you what they did. I am not a fan of games like um, Fantasy Star, for example, where um, the spells are like... They're so convoluted, you don't know what they do. You have to, like, write them all down and everything. Like, it's so annoying. Ooh, so the Tree Brothers killed their own brethren and gave me the Ultra Hot Flower? Okay. Anyway, we get warped out of here. Sweet! So, rather than walking back like a moron and getting, like, 20 encounters, I'm just gonna meet you back in Nutmeg Village. I'm back in the village, so let's go ahead and talk to, um, Truffle. Hey there. Oh, great, you finished the medicine. Sweet. Okay. Oh. I guess you can make that 100 meter dash? Oh, well, what happened? Really? Seriously, you sprained your ankle? Oh my god. Gotta be kidding me. Yup, it certainly is. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Oh, you're not gonna fall- wow, really? Come on now. Anyway, we get the Neutralizer, which we're gonna throw into Crater Lake to get our Power Water because this idiot sprained his ankle. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna be doing that next time. Oh, but before I go, one thing that I do want to show you. On my way here, a Candyman dropped a new sword, the Slasher. So, um, I- did equip that, let me just show you. I had the katana equipped, which um, gives you, what is it, 112 power and 48 speed, but the f but the slasher is going to increase your power up to 127, that's a 15 point increase, but it does reduce your speed by 10 points. I think it's completely worth it. So I'm going to gain up, let's see, oh it shouldn't take me that long, I need to gain up another level, and then we're going to go to Crater Lake next time on Let's Play Great Greed. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.